Hello, my name is Lilian Okibe. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be talking about smelly locks. We'll be discussing why your locks may be smelly and what you can do to prevent or fix it. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in, then please keep on watching. <laughs> Before we go into this video, let me say that if your locks are smelly, if your locks smell funky, there's really nothing to be ashamed of because the fact that your locks are smelly does not automatically mean that um you're dirty it just means that you don't have access to the right information so if you're experiencing that right now just know that <laughs> there's nothing to be ashamed of and we're going to fix that in a minute now the first thing we're going to be talking about is like different reasons why your locks may start to smell funky or may start to sm smell weird first reason why your locks may be smelly and i feel like this is something that so many people experience and to an extent this is like top on the list of the causes of smelly locks right and that is um water <laughs> well, um, reasons that have to do with water um those of you that are, have been on my channel that have been watching my videos for a while you guys know that i i absolutely love water and i preach that water is amazing for locks and water is amazing for hair nevertheless um how you use water matters a lot right um if you're someone that you're always wetting your locks you're always wetting your hair and you don't allow your locks to dry properly before wetting again that can make your locks start to smell weird and start to smell funky the thing is we were not created to <laughs> live in water and so all our features our hair our skin and all that wasn't created to remain in water for 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 too long right even though we need water uh, your skin needs water your body needs water your hair needs water um if your hair or your skin remains in water too long at once like it can you're going to have issues along the line because you were not created to be in water yet like i always say like i've said before on my channel you're not a fish so you, you don't you can't expect to always have your hair wet for a long like all the time back to back and expect that you're not going to have issues you're going to have issues and one of the issues that you're going to that is going to that you're going to have is smelly locks now like i i always say this on my channel um whenever you wet your locks it's always a good idea to make sure that after every session of wetting your locks make sure that you dry your locks properly because sometimes when you wet your hair when you wet your locks your it may feel like it's dry already like when you touch the surface of it it may, be, it may feel like it is dry but it's not actually dry down to the core of the lock so you want to make sure that every time you wet your locks make sure that it dries completely before you go ahead and wet again another thing you want to bear in mind is sometimes when you wet your locks the length of the locks may be dry but like your roots may still be wet and if you don't if you don't allow it to dry properly you may start to have issues along the line and this is really common for people who wet their locks daily mostly men and even women like for me i like to wet my hair very often and um you guys must have heard me say this before on my channel i wet my hair every two days right and that's pretty often for the like for the average person but every time i wet my hair i always make sure that i open my hair sit near a fan and make sure that it dries whenever you wet your hair you want to make sure that it dries completely within four hours or so and you want to make sure that it remains dry for at least 12 hours before you go ahead and wet again this is like something you need to have at the back of at the back of your mind if you're someone that likes to wet their hair often now if you're someone that you like to wet your hair every day when you shower you need to bear in mind that after wetting your hair you, you you have to go the extra especially when your locks start to get thicker and longer you're going to need to have to go the extra mile before in order to dry your hair properly because if you're someone that you're always wetting your hair every day there's a high chance that especially if you live in an environment that is not so dry there's a high chance that the next day when you go after wetting your hair today like the next day your hair will not be completely dry and then you go ahead and wet again the next day you wet again your hair is going to start to smell weird and funky so that's one of the reasons now another reason why your hair may be smell may be smelling funky as a result of water is if you leave your hair wet for too long now previously i talked i briefly talked about this right and I, I, but what what i was focusing on was like not allowing your hair to dry properly after you have wet it so let's say you allow it to dry but it's not completely dry and then you go ahead and wet again that's one case another case is if you wet your hair and you leave it wet for too long before you finally go ahead and dry it if you do that all the time because consistently your locks may start to smell funky um especially for people who always like to wear bonnets and always like to wear scarves and caps and like they always like to cover their locks right people like that if you wet your hair 
and your hair is not dry if you just go ahead and wear like a bonnet or a scarf people like for example people who wear who um wash their locks at night and like to sleep with a bonnet that if you go ahead and cover your hair or people who do the like greenhouse effect and all that right if you wet your hair and allow your hair and go ahead and cover your hair preventing your hair from getting dry within like the next maximum like seven hours even when you finally open up your hair and allow it to dry it's going to smell funky so if you do that over and over and over again your locks will start to smell weird and the thing about locks is that um if you have loose natural hair your, your hair can still smell right but with locks because locks the nature of locks locks tend to hold on to smell a lot longer because like <laughs> locks are not like single strands of hair they're like group of strands bound together so now the thicker your locks the more obvious this is going to be but basically locks hold on to smell a lot longer so if you are constantly doing things that make your locks smell weird back to back to back to back to back your locks are going to hold on to that smell and so even when you stop doing those things it's going to take a while before the smell will go away right and that's why all these things i'm, I'm sharing in this video are very very important another thing that is very like it's also related to this idea of um water is when you wet your locks too often for your situation for your circumstances um this is also this also is also linked to all the things i've said before um even though i say that water is great for the hair water is amazing for locks and everything you cannot afford to wet your hair like like for example now i say that i wet my hair every every two days right um you cannot just say oh because lilian wets her hair every two days then i'm going to go ahead and wet my hair every two days when you don't leave where i live you don't do the things that i do you're not exposed to this, to this like the same like conditions as i am that routine of wetting your locks every two days may be too much right so, so going back to what i said before if if you wet your hair and if you have a frequency of wetting your hair and you you, you notice that you don't have that um system of wetting your hair making sure that it dries in about four hours and then allowing your hair to remain dry for at least 12 hours before you wet again if that doesn't work for your present routine then that's it then that's a sign that you're probably wetting your hair too often so if you live in like, in like for for example now even though i tell you guys that i wet my hair every two days but like now in nigeria in lagos the weather is like humid like it rains a lot <laughs> you know and so now if i wet my hair even if i wet my hair every two days i notice that it doesn't remain dry um for as long as i would want to and so right now like now now as i'm making this video i do i'm not wetting my hair every every two days right now and another thing is i'm also very busy this period so um i no longer have the time to wet my hair and like pay attention to going under the fan to let my hair dry and all that um so now like i wet my hair probably once a week or like yeah once a week thereabouts right um i no longer wet my hair every other day like i used to because for now based on the the weather condition in this moment wetting my hair that frequently will not work for me so that's that that just gives you an idea of what you should have in mind you cannot just copy and paste someone else's routine because so many things affect why that person's routine may work for them and why it may not necessarily work for you <laughs> now if you're someone that you like to wet your hair often and like there's no way to go about it you just have to wet your hair often invest in a good fan or it's even better for you to use like a hair dryer i'm not like i'm <laughs> i'm not an advocate for hair dryers like personally i don't like to use heat in my hair just because even if i put it on low heat it just the heat irritates my scalp so i don't really like um putting heat in my hair so personally i wouldn't do that but if if you know that you're someone that you like to wet your hair often and your locks are thick and you know that it's not going to dry you, you can get a nice um hair dryer and just dry your, your locks with that just so that it doesn't remain um wet for too long another reason why your locks may be smelling funky is if you're not washing your locks properly and you're not washing your locks as often as you need to now this also goes down but this also like depends on you your lifestyle you your environment where you live whether you go out or not and different things like that but how, i feel like no matter what you do <laughs> no matter who you are generally speaking everyone should wash their hair at least once a month that's my own personal opinion there are people that can go a little longer than that without having any issues you know people who live in a very you know clean environment clean air they, they don't expose their hair to dust and dirt and all that they don't sweat um 
maybe they cover their hair whenever they go out and things i don't i don't know maybe people may maybe some some people may be able to may be able to get away with going longer than a month but personally i would say that at least once a month you should wash your hair you should wash your locks and you should wash your locks thoroughly because the thing is whenever if you don't wash your locks as often as you need to your locks are going to be dirty and all that sweat and dirt and gunk and all that will mix all together and start to make your locks smell funky and another thing is when your locks are dirty water does more damage <laughs> when it comes to smell if you wet clean hair right if you take your spray bottle and spray some water in your hair when it is clean number one the water is going to evaporate from your hair a lot quicker because your hair is clean and number two it's not going to leave any smell behind but if you go ahead and spray water on dirty hair like when your hair you've not washed your hair in a while and you go ahead and spray water on it your hair is going to smell funky like <laughs> there's no way to go about it. your hair is going to smell funky and that's why sometimes people ask me because i've had a few comments from some of you guys asking me like yeah, you say you, you wet your hair so often like how come like doesn't your hair smell and that's because I, wear, I wash my hair very often so my hair doesn't smell even though i wet my hair so often because my hair is always clean like seriously my hair is always clean <laughs> you know so if your hair if your locks are not actually clean and you go ahead and put water in it like that's just recipe for disaster disaster and if, if you're someone that you're guilty of this you don't wash, wash your locks regularly you go months and months and months without washing your locks but you are always like spraying water in your locks even if the water doesn't like remain there for a long time just for the fact that you're spraying water on dirty locks it can make your locks start to smell funky another reason why your locks may be smelling weird is as a result of the products that you're using now there are two ways that products can make your or let me say there are two kinds of products that can make your your locks smell <laughs> um the first one is products that contain a lot of like artificial perfumes and like like artificial perfumes basically um because the thing about those perfumes is that they tend to even though at first when you put it in your hair it may seem like your hair smells nice when those perfumes stay longer they get stale and when you when that stale smell mixes with like your sweat your sebum and all that it will start to smell funky now if you add that to the fact that you don't wash your locks regularly that can you know make that it can make it even even worse right so it is always a good idea to like products perf, 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 what am i saying perfume perfumed products products that have a high concentration of perfume perf, products that you open it up and it, it has a strong artificial perfume smell tend to make the hair start to smell weird over time especially if you're not washing often now another thing and i feel like this is another mistake so many people make is if it has been a while since you washed your hair right <laughs> and you feel like you want maybe you're going out or something and you, you want your hair to smell nice you go ahead and put in like a hair products or an oil or, or and all that that has artificial like perfume in there just so that your hair smells nice that is compounding the problem and that may be one of the reasons why your hair is, your locks are smelling funky because if you go ahead and apply perfume products like products that contain um high concentration of artificial artificial perfumes on dirty locks that will just mix up with like all oh, the dirt and everything and it's just make your hair start to smell funky at first it may it may seem like your hair is smelling nicer but just give yourself like a day or so it was it's going to mix up and start to make your hair smell funky so if you're someone that you're always doing that putting perfume products in um dirty hair or you use products that have a lot of perfume artificial perfumes um in your hair and you don't wash very often your locks may start to smell for and even if you wash often if you if you're not washing properly those perfumes may remain in your in your locks if you're not washing properly and over time as soon as this the perfume becomes still your locks will start to smell weird now another way that products can another kind of products that can make your locks smell funky or so smell weird is natural products that have strong um natural ingredients that have bad smell <laughs> so let me rephrase that products that contain all natural like natural ingredients right that have bad smell you know all those your chebe your onions your you know those herbs some some you know herbs like that that just smell weird and smell bad you know like as soon as you open the products even though you you can you know that all the products like all the ingredients are nice um, they are probably beneficial to your hair but they smell weird like if you're constantly using those natural products that have bad smell in your hair 
your hair is going to smell weird um with loose natural hair it's not such a big issue because as soon as you use them you can use it to pre-pull and then wash your hair and everything's going to be fine but locks tend to hold on to smell a lot so if you're always using um all those products even though they are natural that have bad smell <laughs> your hair is going to hold on to that smell and to make your your locks smell funky and this is one of the things that was very important to me when i was creating the okibe healing oil i really wanted something that will have clean all natural ingredients that are beneficial to the hair and the scalp and can help with like hair growth and all that without having that side effect of having bad smell because um in the past I, I had done reviews like product reviews on so many brands and i noticed that it's usually like one or the other if you are looking for like clean natural nice ingredients most times the products don't smell as nice and then if you want products that smell nice most times when you check the ingredients they are not necessarily they are not really the best for you so i really wanted when i was creating the, the healing oil i really wanted something that would would be nice we have very nice ingredients that are beneficial to the hair that work and that also smell nice especially with locks like you create you can't afford to use um products that don't smell nice that smell weird now the thing about um using products that have natural like perfumes like not natural perfumes like that have um scents of like maybe essential oils and like herbs with nice smell is that those smell number one they're not going to be so strong and overpowering right and number two like they don't get stale and start to smell weird like those artificial scents like for example now the healing oil I noticed that since I've, I've been using the healing oil on my hair, I don't need, like, I don't necessarily need to wash my, my locks as often as I used to. Like, my locks smell fresh a lot longer now that I use the healing oil in my hair than um, in the past when I wasn't using that, you know. So, if you, if you can find um, a product that has natural ingredients, that have nice smell, that have really nice essential oils and, like, herbs and all that, that smell nice, that can help. Well, another reason why your locks may smell funky is build up <laughs> now i feel like i do, don't really need to explain this you know because obviously if you have bu product build up, build up in your hair that means that those products remain in your hair they get stale and eventually they will make your locks start to smell weird and build up also means dirty hair dirty locks and back to what i was saying about dirty hair it's because it smell so build up is never 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 a good idea now the next reason why your locks may be smelling funky is as a result of sweat if you're someone that you sweat often and whenever you sweat you don't like i'll air your hair and like open up your hair and allow like your scalp to dry just allow like your locks to absorb all that sweat <laughs> after a while your your um your your locks are going to start to smell funky because number one sweat is water basically so it's going to be having the same effect as a similar effect as if you like wet your hair with water and, and and not allow it to dry right then another thing is sweat is is not just plain water so it is water mixed with like salts and like you know things from your body so by the time microorganisms and like bacteria and all that start to act on the sweat it's going to start to smell weird and when you put that all that smell into your locks your locks are going to start to smell weird another reason why your locks may be smelling funky is i feel like this is something people don't really talk about and, and this is something that is very 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 important um places you go to places you visit if you if you if you're someone that you like going to clubs and bars where people are smoking there's a lot of alcohol and everywhere is just smelling weird like not the kind of smell that you would want in your hair <laughs> It's not really a good idea because locks hold like I, i've been saying from the beginning of this video locks hold on to smell so if you're always in environments and areas that have like bad smell after a while like your locks hold on to all that all that smell and it makes actually start to make your hair smell weird and this also goes for like um even if it's not like bars and like clubs and all that places that have um perfumes like you know do you know those air fresheners that just smell weird <laughs> if you're always visiting those kind of places your locks can hold on to all that smell and that can affect how your hair how your locks smell. let's go ahead and talk about things that you can do <laughs> to fix or prevent smelly locks now all these things i'll be saying are things that you can if you if you already have um smelly locks right now these things will help to stop the smell and prevent um 
the smell from happening in the future. So the first thing, and I, like this is like one of the most important, is for you to make sure that you always dry your locks properly and you don't leave your locks wet for too long. If you need to go outside every time you wet your locks or you know, dry your locks and allow like the sun or like and the wind and all that to blow into your hair and get it dry, do it. If you need to use like a hair dryer <laughs> even though i don't really recommend heat because for me the heat of hair dryer irritates my scalp but if that's like the only option you have go ahead and do it if you need to you know reduce how often you wet your hair because you're of your like circumstances and all that do it because uh, it's not nice like it, it actually it's, it's actually like demoralizing when you go out and people come near you and you know can smell you know weird smell coming from your locks and they start to avoid you like it's, it's not a nice feeling so i feel like you should do anything it takes to prevent um and to prevent my locks and if you already have that this can also help to stop it like the, the funny thing is if you have not been experiencing it for a very long time something as simple as actually allowing your locks to dry properly will put an end to the smell like instantly you you may feel that your locks are smelling right now right because maybe your locks are wet and you've been keeping your wet your locks wet for maybe a while right if you just go ahead and properly allow like dry your locks thoroughly in inside out the smell will go away and just all you can do is after doing that you can just like apply a light oil that has a nice a light natural oil that has like a pleasant smell uh and probably has like antifungi and uh, antibacterial properties and that all that smell is going to go away <laughs> now another thing that can help to prevent and fix smelly locks is for you to wash your locks frequently at least once a month and whenever you wash your locks make sure that you wash your locks thoroughly and make sure that you get rid of all the products and build up and dirt and sebum and oils and all that from your hair so that they don't remain in there and start to you know make your locks smell weird <laughs> next just like i said previously you want to avoid areas that have smell that you would not like in your hair so if you are always going to the club, you may want to reduce how often you go there, right? Um, or maybe cover your locks whenever you go there. Maybe that can help, you know. Um, if you are, in, if you always visit areas that have bad smelling air fresheners, maybe you can switch. <laughs> or maybe if you have like control over like kind of air freshener that is used, you can, you know, tell maybe the owner of the place to switch to a nicer smelling <laughs> um, air freshener i don't know but just try to avoid areas that have smell that you would not like in your locks another thing that can help is for you to reduce the quantity of products that you put in your locks like i say this i feel like at this point i say this in all my videos <laughs> but um being heavy-handed with products doesn't do you any good especially if you have locks so try to cut down on the quantity of products that you put in your locks and you're going to be so much happier for it <laughs> and another thing is you want to air your locks often for people who sweat a lot you know who work out and all that every after every workout session after every sweat section every every sweat session or maybe after every day when you get back home just air your hair go near a fan sit near a fan open up your locks and let just let the, the air go in there and dry every part of your hair that needs to be dry because and apart from the fact that um wet locks and like sweat and all that can make your 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 locks smell funky it can also cause like scalp issues and it can even cause hair loss because even you have scalp issues and you're always scratching and scratching and scratching other scratching can enjoy your scalp and that can cause hair loss in those areas so it's always a good idea to air your scalp from time like as often as you need to air your scalp and make sure that your scalp is always like aired and dry not dry that it's like you know flaky and all but dry in the sense that there's no water on the surface of it <laughs> another thing you want to um do to help with this is for you to avoid like wearing bonnets and scarves and caps all the time i know people who hardly go out <laughs> right and they always 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 wear bonnets and scarf when, and scarves whenever they are home i know you may think that you're protecting your looks but you're actually doing Mm, some damage Ex except you live in an in an environment that is like very very cold and you do not sweat on your scalp and like everywhere is just like cold and dry you're able to get away with like covering your your hair all the time but other than that if you if you sweat <laughs> if you live in an area that is a little warm or like really hot you can't afford to always cover your locks you allow your locks out and about and allow air to like move around 
uh, as much as you can you want to avoid um products that have high concentration of artificial perfumes in them if you can use pro products that have like nice smelling herbs products that have um you know all these essential oils like tea tree oil and like peppermint oil like those oils that have like anti fungi antibacterial properties and like just smell nicer <laughs> another thing that can help and this is something that i feel like people don't really talk about but it's very very important is for you to pay attention to what you're eating because there are certain foods that you eat that smell in your sweat i don't know if that makes sense like there are some things for example garlic if you like to eat raw garlic when you start to sweat you're going to smell the raw garlic in your sweat <laughs> i know people say that like raw garlic is better when you eat garlic raw without cooking and all that but you have to choose right the benefits of garlic like, it's not like if you don't eat garlic raw garlic you're going to die or like if you eat the cooked garlic that like, you're not going to get any benefits any benefits at all for me <laughs> personally i can close my eyes to the extra you know nutritional benefits that i'll get from eating the raw garlic so that my hair doesn't start to smell that way right i can that's the price that i can pay like i don't need the benefits <laughs> you know and have that risk of having the garlic smell in my hair so i'm not saying you have to do that if you want to eat raw garlic and you don't mind garlic smelling in your locks in your hair and all that go ahead and eat it but just know that um foods that have smell that are not so pleasant right um and that can show up in your sweat try as much as you can to cut them down if you're trying to prevent smelly looks because if you eat those foods your sweat is going to smell like those foods and those those that smell is going to get into your lungs and your lungs are going to start to smell weird <laughs> so if you're looking at my lungs right now and you're wondering whoa like i like her lungs i would like to have lungs like this i have a course where i teach how to achieve thick rich juicy healthy luscious lungs and for you to have lungs like mine i'm going to leave the link down in the description box and if you also like to know the products that i use for my lungs i'll also leave that video that link rather in the description box in case you are interested so with that we'll come to the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if this is your first time on my channel and you like to see more videos from me then definitely subscribe thank you so 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 much for watching see you guys in my next video <laughs>